Hi, so if you know anything about Alabama at all, you know that it's a, un it's a unique state. Uh, besides our obsession with college football, like no one has ever seen, we are also something called a caveat emptor state. So what did I just say? Caveat emptor. This is a legal term that literally means buyer beware. Now before I scare all the buyers out there, let me tell you what this looks like when it's played out in the market. So for example, are sellers. Legally, the seller has no actual duty to advise the buyer of issues with the property's physical condition during the sale. So, many states require sellers to formally disclose such issues, but Alabama's rule usually places that responsibility on the buyer. So, as a home seller in Alabama, however, you're not completely off the hook. So here are three exceptions to caveat emptor in Alabama in which sellers become legally responsible for disclosing defects to the buyer. Number one, if a fiduciary relationship exists between the buyer and the seller. This is rare, but it does happen. What's a fiduciary duty? Well, it's a legal responsibility to act in another party's best interest. For example, if the seller was the buyer's medical doctor and knows the buyer is allergic to cedar, failing to disclose that the house has cedar closets, may be a breach in a fiduciary duty. The relationship is rare, but that does happen. Number two, if the seller knows that the home may pose a health or safety risk to the buyer, then they have to disclose that information. One example of a health and safety defect would be um, a seller knowing that the home has lead paint or contains asbestos. In that situation, the seller must notify any potential buyers of the lead paint and asbestos that is present in the home. Um, number three exception, if the buyer directly questions the seller on specific defects, for example, the buyer asks, have you had any repairs or issues with the air conditioning unit? Are there moisture problems that are in the crawl space? Any of those situations, the seller must disclose those defects with which he or she is personally familiar. So how can you protect yourself as a buyer in a caveat emptor state? Well, there are a few things. So number one, have a general inspection done to see what is up to code and what may need to be further inspected by a specialty professional um, for safety and health purposes. Um, number two, research the neighborhood. You can do this online for knowledge on crime stats, service delivery, access to amenities, and so forth. Realtors with a proven track record will provide you with the resources needed in order for you to do your due diligence and you're in a great position to assist with your purchase. They have an in-depth knowledge of the area and know what probing questions that should be asked to a seller to uncover potential defects. So your agent will assist with the unpacking of the technical jargon and the contract of sale to ensure that you get the best possible experience when purchasing your home. So with an experienced realtor, you can be assured that most of the risk that you would have ordinarily have been exposed to would be mitigated. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions about buying or selling or the caveat emptor state and those, those terms, I'd be glad to talk to you further. This is Leanne Farrington with Keller Williams Realty. Have a good day.